hi and good day fellow gamer if you are watching this video it probably means you're using a budget smartphone or device and wish to enjoy or get the best gaming experience on our favorite call of duty mobile game now if that's your story then i've got you covered <clears throat> and even if that's not your reason just stick around because i believe in life there is no information that is a waste who knows this information could help a friend who isn't opportune to watch this or who isn't opportune to be using a flagship device now if you know such kind of such kind of friend or if you have such kind of a friend now watch this so that you can help that particular brother in life helping people really is a great way to um, extend hands of love or show that you care now without further ado let's get down to the business of today So, I dropped my Redmi Note 8 Pro a couple weeks back. Oh, I know, too bad. And crashed my screen. So, I had to revert back to my old Gen M6, which is a mid range device. But even though outdated, it runs on the Android 6.0 Marshmallow with 4GB of RAM and also having 64GB of internal storage. But running the Call of Duty Mobile on this device wasn't giving me as much game, as much engaging feeling of excitement as I used to get on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Because with the specs specification that the phone was having, I was expecting more. But the graphic settings that the game was giving me wasn't really what I what I expected. It was poor. I was having getting low graphic settings and uh, frame rate at medium so I started looking for a way to hype up the graphic settings of the game to match that of the Redmi now after trying every so called Call of Duty GFX tool on the Play Store God, it's really annoying that none worked and I wonder why they keep deceiving people but at last I landed on the walk around and it was an amazing fix so I decided to share this with the house and also with my fellow gaming enthusiasts in the world. So guys, please support my efforts by subscribing to my channel. Even if you don't find my content interesting, just help your brother and subscribe for no reason. Because though I just started off, I know I will make mistakes. Because who doesn't? But I also focus on bringing to your screens great mobile gaming content, especially on Call of Duty Mobile. So stick with me and help me up. And why you do, I'm most grateful. So let's get down to it. Now, for this, you will need an app which will be in my description below. But before going straight to download, I will say I'm still pleading. Please help your brother and subscribe to my channel. Just a gesture that will really mean a lot. Now, once you download it, now once you get the link that I'll be dropping for you, you go over to any of your favorite browser. For this, I'm going to be using the Puffin browser and then go to your address bar, input the address that will be given to you and then click on go. Sorry, my mobile data is off. You click on go. And it opens up the interface. Now click on download. and select the um, directory you want the file to be saved allow and it has started downloading already as you can see over here but since i'm already having it so there's no need this is just to show you guys how to go about it and the council is now once that is done you go over to where you downloaded the file And install as you can see I'm already, I've already installed the app so what the app is asking me do you want to turn on update so just go ahead and install then once installed 
you open up the application now don't mind the Chinese writing I'll show you guys how to go about it. Uh, everything so what you do is already I'm having call of duty already uh, added to the uh, app but for you since you're doing it for the first time you click on the add button and then go over to call of duty mobile mine is already added so in your own case call of duty mobile will appear here because you've not added it yet and once you do you just click on the add button that is in front and then once it does it hit uh, add it to be in app now you long press on the app and select the first option over here you can see here it's already written to the galaxy s10 but the first uh if you enter the first time to give you the name of your mobile device over here so you click on this option select the last option here and on this side select the last option over here select the galaxy s10 or any of your choice you can use the s7 edge but preferably if you want the highest STS settings you select, select the s10 now once this is done you click on the save button over here and then after all it saves using this button also now you go back now once you've added the call of duty to the app now what you do is after setting up what you do is you go to your file manager your file explorer or yes file explorer i know what you're using now you're going to see a folder that has been recently created with the name docker as you can see over here docker the docker folder now you go in now what you do is since you're you since you're already having the call of duty installed on your phone that is your default on your phone what you do is first of all you create an android folder in the docker folder that is in case if, the, if you're not having the android folder already created now once you create the android folder you create the obv folder and the data folder then go back to your phone storage and under android go to your obv file and then here is the call of duty file you click on this and then copy or move anyone depending on the one you want you copy go back to the docker folder and then paste it in the new obb file that you created inside the docker folder android obb and then you paste one once you paste i'm already having it created so there's no need for this once you paste it then go out back to the game and launch the game the game is not going to download the default in-game settings of the Samsung S10 on your phone. Don't bother copying the data folder in the Android default Android folder because that will be for your mobile device. The game will have to download that of the S10 Plus so as to give you all the available settings for the S10 Plus. With that done, now go ahead and launch your game and you're good to go. Back and launch the game. Now, when, if you're launching the game for the first time, it will require you to download some of the in-game settings of the S10. So once that is done, your game is going to launch. And Shibuya, you have everything ready to go. Now as you can see mine is going to automatically log me in because I've already inputted my details. Now on your own case you input your call of duty details or using your Facebook account and log into the game.
so let me show you guys what I'm having right now. But if we go to the audio and graphics, you can see I'm having the. You are now living the shores of final game space. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so we can grow together whilst I'm trying every new update.